According to the old mantra, sex sells. But in advertising, does sex sell anything other than sex? The pressure on Madison Avenue to eliminate ads objectifying women ramped up this week at the Cannes Advertising Festival in France, and the pressure is coming from the advertising industry itself. The effort is spearheaded by ad agency Badger & Winter's co-founder, Madonna Badger, who this week spoke at Cannes in hope of persuading executives that creating ads objectifying women isn't just wrong, it can also have a negative impact on business. I think that the people that are harmed the most, of course, are the children. Girls are growing up thinking that how they look is more important than how they feel. Badger says she's trying to shine a light on how this type of sexist advertising is harmful to young women and undermines their self-esteem. Her efforts are in honor of her three daughters, who perished with her parents in a fire at her Victorian home in Connecticut on Christmas Day in 2011. Last year, after doing a search for the phrase objectification of women, Badger was inspired to produce a video titled We Are Hashtag Women Not Objects, highlighting suggestive ads of women promoting everything from fast food to high fashion. I love sacrificing my dignity for a drink. That online video has been viewed about 31 million times so far since its debut in January. And her agency, along with Girls Lounge, a group pushing for gender equality in the workplace, recently surveyed 5,000 consumers, finding ads objectifying women can be, quote, disastrous to your brand's reputation and extremely damaging to purchasing intent. And how do provocative ads impact children? Badger showed a short film called What Our Kids See, in which children react to sexually objectifying ads they see in everyday life. She looks very muscular to me. It makes me feel really scrawny. I wish that I could see her whole face and her body so people wouldn't just like her for her breasts. Badger isn't alone in her campaign to change the tone of advertising. In 2014, Procter & Gamble launched an ad campaign for its Always line of products in which individuals are asked to act out what it means to throw like a girl. They think they're a strong person. It's kind of like telling them that they're weak and they're not as good as them. The commercial shows adult women interpreting the phrase like a girl as if it's an insult, while younger girls interpret it in a more empowering way. What does it mean to you when I say run like a girl? It means run fast as you can. And P&G has been joined by Unilever and Under Armour who have created ads designed to empower women and young girls.